So, we woke up this morning to an accumulation of snow, but it is like, um, it's like that fake snow that you use in, in, in uh, Christmas scenes, like with Christmas villages, because it is so powdery, <laughs> it's going to be really hard to clear because it's just going to blow all over the place. But I'm getting ready to go to quilt retreat. So, we cleared the driveway yesterday, and here we are again. And we have to clear it because I have to get to quilt, quilt retreat. And then I'm going to have to dig in to quilt retreat. But there's little that's going to keep a quilter from her retreat. This is pretty daunting. We took our garbage cans out last night and they're buried. That street, I couldn't even drive down that street because it has not been cleared yet. But we're going to give it our best shot. And then we'll go up to the sewing room and I'll tell you about my projects. So here's my... 4 by 14 inch ruler. Great quilting tool to use for a variety uh, of uses. You know, who would have thought that our Omnigrid supplies would help us in this endeavor? <laughs> um, we just have one guy who plows our streets, so even if we got our driveway cleared, our, our streets are still buried. And the garbage man's not going to make it down this street right now. <laughs> of course, we can't bring the garbage back in either. <laughs> Great quilting day. getting ready to go on a uh, fabric stalker retreat uh, we we usually schedule anywhere from two to four retreats a year with this group and uh, not you can't make every retreat that we schedule but the one thing I do encourage you to think about is that uh, what a retreat does is it gives you a break not only from your day-to-day -day life, but from the way you um, get interrupted in your sewing. Because we tend to, when we're sewing at home, to um, think about chores that we have to do or um, something you remember that, oh, I should have taken care of that, and you stop your sewing. What happens when you go on a retreat is life uh, outside of sewing stops and you get a lot done. It really is the place that I get the most sewing done. Um, we tend to get up early in the morning and start sewing and you know just break for you know meals and then sew into the evening and that would never happen at home. I would hear the the washing machine go off and I'd stop or or oh I should have gone to the store and shopped. So uh, a sewing retreat is just kind of like a little gift. Now it is different than if you um, are going to a workshop or a class. These types of retreats are just a time to get your projects worked on that you already have going. And so you do make a lot of headway. And the way I approach them is I go through my um, piles and piles of what I have been working on for several years and I pick out the ones that are screaming the loudest. And since I have projects that I, I use these project boxes um, that I got at Joann's and I just wait until, you know, you get that 40 or 50% off coupon and um, you buy one of these project boxes and then you uh, put one specific project in it. Now this particular box here has several because I'm using it as a carry-all. 
And so when I choose what I'm going to do, I just kind of look at what's been sitting around a while. Like this is um, the sh uh, Snapshot um, Quilt Along that I signed up for um, with the Fat Quarter Shop like a couple of years ago. And it's really interesting how I will uh, work on it, and, and I only have worked really on this at different retreats. So it's taken me a while. And I have all the blocks done. I just have to do the setting, uh, put them into a top, you know, connect them all together. And they're such cheerful little colors, but what I do know is I want to get this done because I need this project box for another project that has, it needs to move in. So I packed, what I did was I keep this laundry basket always in my sewing room and it has usually tucked underneath the my parents antique stove it has all the things that I've prepped or things that I've made um, as gift items and so I took all of those things out of this basket and I'm leaving them here at home um, because I'm not going to be working on these. These are when I when I prep ahead I um, have always something ready to stitch but this stuff is just for for me to work on here and there so I don't want to take this on retreat if that makes any sense to you. So I emptied my laundry basket and I have in it now the projects that I want to take on retreat and I have made the mistake of running out of projects so this might look like a lot uh, of ambitious thinking on my part but I'm more afraid of running out of projects at retreat than not ha having carried too much there so um, I always take something new so my new project uh, that I haven't even started yet that I'm thinking about is this uh, little pumpkin quilt so I might just make um, a row of these pumpkins it's not that I want to finish it or anything but so that's ready to go I have my box of Valdani thread I have rulers I have my soft fuse I have my SF 101 if I prep any blocks and so I'm very much ready um, to load this into the car for retreat. I don't take my regular sewing machine on retreat anymore. It's too heavy um, and I don't want to move it. So I uh, usually take my um, little featherweight and that works out really good. So we are going to be heading off tomorrow for <laughs> the Quiet River Retreat with the Fabric Stalkers. So just think about it. Once I'm back from a uh, quilt retreat, it's going to be like a four day retreat. Then uh, next week we'll do another stitch tutorial and maybe I'll have a couple other tips for you because I um, always like sh uh, hearing about other people's tips and sharing my own. It's all a group effort, isn't it?